Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I've got some great news if you are a student, especially if you are a student interested in the Unity game engine and that is that uh, the Unity Technologies Group have just launched a brand new plan, the student plan, Unity Student, and the entire thing is completely free as long as you are a student. And yes, you can see from the title, that includes dark mode. So I know a lot of people really want dark mode for some reason. And yes, yeah, so basically this is the entire Unity package uh, made available for students for completely free. So what are you getting in this? Well, you're getting their cloud-based collaboration, their cloud building systems, advanced cloud diagnostics, learn premium, and the dark UI theme. So yes, pretty much all of those things that you get as um, from the professional package, you get here. Now, of course, I'm assuming you're not going to be able to deploy even if you are a student, um, but you've got things, again, Unity Learn Premium is completely included. Unity, uh, Unity Learn Premium, we'll get back to it in a couple of minutes, but it is awesome. I, I'm actually a huge fan of it. If I was going to start learning Unity today, Unity Learn Premium would be exactly where I started. It is a great package. I get a number of free assets. Uh, specifically, you get snaps to work with Pro Builder so that you can kind of start prototyping levels and making stuff work without having to actually have access to um, you know any artistic abilities. So you get the snaps packs there. And again, um, Pro Builder, but everybody's got Pro Builder. Uh, you get um, five seats of Unity Team. So if you're working together in a collaborative way, you have that ability there. Uh, so definitely a nice uh, development here if you happen to be a student. Of course, there are some criteria in here. Uh, first off, you need to have authenticated that you are in fact a student. And the way they do that is through GitHub Student Developer Pack. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, can I use my student plan at school? You can log into Uni and Access, uh, but you got, you got a bit of a conflict, and this kind of comes up a couple times. Uh, educational licenses and individual student licenses don't really overlap, so you'll see right here. Can I purchase a student plan for my class? Student plans are completely free to the individuals and cannot be purchased, so you've got educational grant licensing, and that is something slightly different. So if you are running a school situation, the license to cover an entire classroom, that's kind of a different thing than the student plan. The student Student plan applies to individual students. Now, there's no reason why you couldn't say to every student in your class to go sign up for the plan, but I guess then the teacher is still out of a license. So yeah, if you're in a classroom environment, you're going to want to look sure, make sure you know about the licensing things here. Um, Really, that's kind of the extent of it. Unity plan, existing Unity account. That's actually kind of interesting. So if you sign up for Unity student and you use an existing Unity ID, once you verify through GitHub, uh, you can keep using the same Unity ID you use now. What is the difference between uh, Unity student plan and educational license is for individuals to create, learn, and share uh, projects at home or elsewhere. Educational grant license is used by educators at academic institutions. So again, student versus classroom, basically. Um, your plan expires one year after you have access to it. And yeah, the weird thing here is I don't see anything here about actually selling games and making money, which I really expected to see. So uh, I'll, I'll dig into that and find out if there's any more details there. So if you're interested in checking this out, uh, the first place you really got to start is uh, GitHub Education. I'll link all this appropriate. So I'll link the previous document. I'll link the GitHub Education and so on. So you, you, you know how to go about things. But if you want to get into it, you need to sign up for GitHub Education. Uh, if you're wondering what that involves, well, here is the details for applying. In order to be eligible for the GitHub student pack, you must be currently enrolled um, in a degree or diploma granting course, uh, such as a high school, secondary school, college, university, homeschool, or similar educational institution. Have a verifiable school issued email address or upload documents that can prove your current student status, so your student card or something to that effect. Have a GitHub account and be at least 13 years old. Now, this is actually kind of interesting because it says on the Unity blog, that you actually have to be I think it was 16 in the EU because they have more restrictive private rights kind of details there. So that can really um, screw over a bunch of, you know, 14 to 16 year old high school level students in the EU because you're not going to be able to qualify. So I would check into that if you are in the EU. Uh, there are some privacy rules. Again, they don't say that here. It's only said over on the Unity side of the equation. So um, hopefully you can get around that for the people in between the ages of 13 and 16 that happen to be in the EU. But yes, you definitely have to apply for a student developer pack. Now, the one thing I had mentioned during this is Unity Learn. And Unity Learn is actually, it's completely free to a certain degree. So, sorry, completely was the wrong word. 
Unity Learn is available for free. It is a learning platform. There are a bunch of tutorials, both video and actually text-based, which really impressed me, that kind of run you through uh, the entire learning process. Now, almost all of the very beginner-oriented stuff is available free. And then there's Unity Learn Premium, which is what you're actually getting with this pack. I think I did a video about that as well. And uh, there's a bunch more uh, intermediate-level tutorials, a lot of tutorials about using various different art programs, some third-party tutorials on things like you know using Maya or Blender or Max or whatever. So uh, the Unity Learn platform in general has a ton of excellent learner content and Unity Learn Premium actually even kind of again goes beyond just Unity to include also the ecosystem stuff, the uh, various uh, again apps that you would use. I think there's a couple things on source control and so on. So that is a huge boon here. Uh, so there's some really great stuff coming in this package. Uh, okay, so here is the notice once again. So age 13 in the US, 16 in the EU. Uh, so, sorry, uh, 14, 15, and 16-year-olds, you know, so I guess 14 and 15-year-olds in the EU, you kind of get screwed here. But hopefully there's a way around that because that's a stupid reason not to be able to sign up for something. So, yeah, that is Unity Student, a new tier. And, and you know, this is nothing new here. It, it's very common to... Um, you know, have educational tiers. It's nice to hook them when they're in school because generally people in school aren't necessarily making money off this stuff, but the tool that you learn there, that's the one you're most comfortable with. And then when you get out of school, that's what you continue to use. And this is kind of, this goes back to the days of, uh, a lot of people used to get word perfect uh, in school. So then when they got out, the keyboard hotkeys they knew and the, the way they worked, the, everything they knew about was, um, you know, ingrained. So when they were looking for purchasing a software or, you know, they had a company and they were saying, well, what software would you like? You say, oh, this is the one I learned in school. So educational software has been a thing for ages and ages. And generally it's a sale that the company wouldn't have lost anyways, because most of the time the students aren't paying for the license version. They'd be using the free version, but it's getting people fully familiar with the full software, the full package. And this is why you also see educational versions of things like Max, Maya. I think Adobe offers educational versions and so on. So it's nice to see Unity following suit. So let me know what you think of this. Are, are you a student in, you know, uh, high school or university and, and this is going to benefit you? Are you a uh, 14 or 15 year old in the EU um, getting screwed by this? If you're one of those things, let me know. Comments down below. Let me know what you think of this plan in general. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.